Dumb Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, it's some breaking news. And normally, when I talk about this guy, you know, it's not really news to me. Because a lot of talking outside of the ring. But this one here is kind of juicy. Boxer, welterweight, former champion, Amir Khan, is going to make an announcement soon. And reports has it that he can be announcing that he's signing with Matchroom, which is Eddie uh, Hearn's promotion company. So when you're talking about Eddie Hearn, you're talking about the promoter of Kell Brook. Well, first of all, you're talking about the promoter of Anthony Joshua. That's first. But Kell Brook is the second dude, you know, main dude. He has many others. He just signed Dan Jacobs. All right, so signing Amir Khan, from his perspective, is also broadening his uh, stable. And Amir Khan has appeal and a name in the States as well, not just uh, England. So it's still a good move from Eddie Hearn. It's also something that makes him say, well, I got to make fights right now. This is not somebody you sign some young dude who you about to build up. He's going to have to make fights right now. Right? From Amir Khan's standpoint, it gives him a promoter that's hot right now. Uh, I don't know how much he would want it, but the Kell Brook fight would be easier to make because now him and Kell Brook have the same promoter or would have the same promoter. So it would stand nothing in the way of that fight. And speaking of that fight, I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again. They better have it now. Now you still have the possibility of still selling, especially in England, for sure. Right? You know, let's make sure we get things clear. George Groves versus uh, your boy Carl Frotch, 80,000 came into the stadium. Wembley, right? 80,000. The most ever until Joshua and Klitschko got 90,000. Right? Neither one of them were the best at super middleweight at the time. Right? Close to it, especially Carl Frotch. It wasn't really the best. You know, Andre Ward had loomed. Right? So it can still happen. My point here, neither Kell Brook is not the best welterweight anymore. One of them, though, still, and will still have his respect. Amir Khan is definitely not one, but he still has those fast hands, like he always likes to say. So he's in a fight if you don't knock him out. You're probably not going to appoint him, right? So he has that going for him, and he has a fan base. So the fight still makes sense in England. The problem is, have it now before you lose again, either one of them. Right before you lose again, have it now. Khan has mentioned names like he wants to get Lamont Lamont Peterson. There's somebody who beat him, and Danny Garcia, somebody who beat him before, knocked him out. Uh, I don't think he, you know, I think he should go the Kell Brook route while he still can. Same thing with Kell Brook. Kell Brook <clears throat> wants to move up to 154. All right, a little bit heavier, but he has both eye sockets have been damaged, surgery on both eye sockets. So fighting Khan would be the perfect thing to do. He doesn't hit that hard. So I just think the time is now, right now, for that fight. So this could be good news for Eddie Hearn and Matchroom, uh, for England. They might get this fight probably coming up soon, which I think would be a perfect thing. And uh, for Amir Khan as well, you know, putting them back in the mix a little bit. With a promoter, like I said, that's hot. So, I think that's big news. So, let's see what happens going forward in the next few days. If something big happens with Amir Khan that's relevant to boxing, then I'll get with you. Don't sports talk worldwide. I'm about to hear y'all.